Hello folks, this is it! Everyone's voted, the verdict is in! These are the top 5 overall best games of the Ludum Dare 49 Game Jam, as voted for by the participants. Uh, we'll be taking a quick look at each, with a longer look at the number 1 winner. All games are on the theme of Unstable, and as usual we'll cover the top 5 compo winners in another video. If you love indie games and enjoyed my coverage of Ludum Dare this year, then press the subscribe button and get involved! Voted at number 5 overall in the jam, Tower of Idols is a physics puzzle game. This was also voted 1st in the theme category, 2nd in innovation, and 8th for fun. A feedback from other Ludum Dare participants included, A really solid gameplay loot with constant new additions. The game does a fantastic job about making you feel like a god. I haven't played anything like it. Right, so actually playing this now, um, the obelisk is crumbling, and we have seven um, brown lads who are running away to the escape zone around the outside, and we have these evil three red lads who are trying to hunt us down and kill us. All we have control over is the debris, so we can push it away using our first push, but we also have a building protecting um, power as well, which I'm going to place on here to stop these being demolished. We can actually control time in stages, but space like, is, is a good toggle, so let's make sure that um, we push the debris into the red lads and not the brown lads. Right, we don't want those. Let's let's push those away. And let's see if we can actually find something that will break their, the red lads up into pieces. Push! Stay away from the houses though, ideally. <laughs> Meanwhile, over here, we need to make sure that no debris comes anywhere near these lads. I don't think we actually managed to do this, did we? We need to still find something that will kill them. So push that. That'll hopefully go towards them. Maybe that will? I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how things go. That can that can stay away. We're about to um, lose the force shield on the houses, so let's place that there again. It looks like the debris is staying well away from those lads and those lads, so we should be okay. It's just the red lads I'm a bit concerned about. Go, go, go! Oh, is that red lads? Oh, oh, this is not good. This is not good. You can get them. Oh god, one of those has got got. Oh, here we go. Oh, it missed. It can get all of them at once if I just push down. Go. Missed. Oh, there we go. I got one of them. Down. No. <laughs> Micromanagement here. Oh, here we go. Got him. But let's turn up time now. Speed things up. And the brown lads are escaping here and here. Right, hang on. There we go. Whew. Coming in at 4th overall, Caravan is a turn-based game where you guide a caravan through a crumbling world. Feedback for this game included, I loved learning little bits as the game progresses rather than being slapped with all the rules at the beginning. And the spells and upgrades spiced up the experience and I liked how there was more than one solution to the problem. It's difficult but feels fair and I feel like I improved on my second playthrough. Right, so I think it's time we built a bridge. Um, no, no one else can do anything else so let's put that there. But be gathering that. I'm not going to bother with the village I don't think. I think we should go onwards. Grab you, and go over here. I think from playing this previously, I know that we have to go east if we're going to get anywhere near the goal. I've got no more wood. And so we need to get to there on the map. We're kind of like over here-ish. Um, but, hmm. I think we need to go and gather some stuff. Let's be doing this lot. Now, if we're going to get um, through the mountains, we need to cut down those trees over there, but... To, to be able to actually survive in the mountains, we're going to need a lot more food. Uh, the mages may be able to flatten the, the ground, though. Like that. Although it looks like I might have to cast it more than once. Oh, we've run out of stuff. Ugh. Oh. Come back, land. Well, as the land drifts away, uh, we did cover this game in my earlier videos, playing my choice of the best Ludum Dare games. So once we're done here, go check out the full playlist for 40 such games. Uh, meanwhile, I think our run has come to an end. Coming third overall, Paper Pirates is a ship balancing game. This also earned third for both audio and theme, fourth for both humour and mood, and ninth for fun. Uh, feedback from other participants included, The art is extremely well done, really nailed the papery look. The dialogue was funny and the game hit the theme very well. It's amazing that you actually composed a sea shanty for a Ludum Dare entry. Speaking of which, sit back and listen, lads. A pirate's life is harsh, it's true, and people aren't so glad to see. Ah. But when a pirate sail into town, they snatch up all the booty. Ah. Yo-ho-ho, and a bottle of rum, and a chink on the table. You can have to lift me with a peg leg, or it's the table that's unstable. The days are long, and the nights are long, and the times between ports are, you guessed it, long. But life on the sea is adventurous and free. 
So long as you leave me, the dog. Oops. At number two, help! I cast the wrong spell. This was also voted second for fun and eighth for innovation. Feedback for this one included, every next level included some really new idea. Um, I love explosions and moving fast. This ticked both of those boxes. Uh, the surfing on spikes level was so frustrating that I almost threw my keyboard at the wall, but it was so satisfying when I beat it. Uh oh, she's cast a dynamite spell. This is less than ideal. Right, onwards! Ooh, okay, run, 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 run. <sighs> Unstable would appear to be the word here. Right. Oh, shitty death. <laughs> Game. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Squeezy, squeezy. And I got got. Okay. Piss. It's round. No. It's faster. <laughs> uh. Right. What's this? Use the dynamite to get up. Fine. Too late. Okay. This is going to be. This is going to be tricky. <laughs> there we go. Wait. There we go. Wait. And there we go. Let the explosions guide us. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. Ooh, and up. There we go. And oh, shitty Nora. <laughs> right, so we need to destroy the locks here before we go any further. So let's go the long way around so we don't demolish the land underneath the door. Go. There we go. Oh my god. It gets hard quite quickly. This. Okay, down here. How are we gonna do this? Okay, we okay. We just need to get back. How do we get back, lads? How do we get back, lads? How do we get back, lads? Uh oh. Uh, I think we're doomed. Or are we? Yes. So this is incredibly good fun. Uh, before we play the winning game in luxurious depth, though, um, check out my buy me a coffee if you want to say thank you for the videos and drop me a tip so I can keep on hunting down and covering as many of the best indie games as I can for you and yo. And the winning game of Ludum Die 49 is Burning Ravager by Sinclair Strange, no stranger to the jam. Uh, this also got voted 4th for graphics, 6th for fun, and 9th for audio. A uh, feedback for this game included, the scope and polish of this game is incredible. Love the slow transition between screens like classic 8-bit games. A polished machine and with lots of content, which is actually fun and very worthwhile. Now you'll see a problem here as I can't actually get any further. Um, so what I'm going to do is carry on um, harvesting these lads for coin, and then I'm going to go back, and um, things do respawn, just like classic games. Uh, and then we'll get some more equipment. This is a bit of a Metroidvania. So let's go through here. And we've got eight diamonds. Eight. And that's okay. But, so we've got credits banked 508. You do start with some credits. But anyway, let's start buying things. Let's go go to the legs and get ourselves a jump unit. And see what else we can get. Um, maybe arms. Spread shot. And this costs 250 quid. We've got 258. So let's do that. Right. Now let's go back here. And let's go back to the planet. So you do need to find six gems, and you can buy those upgrades at the shops, and you also need to um, equip them in-game. Um, there's a reason for that. Um, gem unit, arms, blaster. And there's a reason for that, because too many upgrades, as you can see in the top left, will heat up, heat you up and destroy you. So sometimes you may need to de-equip or find some special equipment otherwise. Anyway, now, sod the rest of them. Oh, hang on. Let's actually just start blasting. There we go. Oh, this is much more. Oh yeah, here we go. This is much tastier. Right, onwards. Right, so obviously we'll need to get some more money and possibly get some other equipment if we're going to keep on progressing. But for now, I think we're okay. No point in going back because we'll just end up oh, respawning everything. Although, having said that, that would be good to get the coin. We've only got 12... Unfortunately, we've only got 12 quid. That's not going to get us very far at all, is it? Everything's respawning, so let's just jump over everything. And, okay, so here's something nasty. Oh! Go! Oh, not quite, not quite. Move onwards, ever onwards. Right. Now what? Oh, piss, I missed a... Oh! Ah, oh, run away! As you can see, I'm actually starting to heat up because of all these things attacking me. So that's another reason why not to, you know, why you don't want too many upgrades. Essentially sacrificing health. Sacrifices must be made! No, wait a second, that was a different jam. So I'm being very... Oh, God. I'm trying to be a bit cautious here. I am getting very overheated. If all else fails, I can always take off something. Some of my equipment. I, I don't seem to be using my jump a lot at the moment, but... Oh, here we go. Thank God for that. Okay, so now... We go back to the shop. Unfortunately, we've only got 26 quid, so I'm not 100% sure that's going to get us very far. We need to... It seems like... Oh, that's only, that only costs 125. But we can only equip one thing at a time to each part, so that's another thing we need to worry about. And this time, this time, jump! That, that goes a little extra coin, 
diamond, whatever the hell the currency is, but not a huge amount. So maybe I'll try and go over here this time, see, explore what... Oh, oh, ooh, ooh. careful now. Okay, over here. We're overheating a little bit. We've got to be careful. Oh, coin, 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 coin. Good. Uh, we'll come across a dead end. Hmm. Less than ideal. Unless we can go... Oh, secret. Yes. Oh, hello. Very unstable. What the... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? What's going on? Um, we've got... We've got a time limit of... What, five minutes? Oh, God. I'm, I keep on getting tonked. Okay, hang on. Now, do we go down or do we go up? I'm going to try and... I'm going I'm to risk it. I'm going to try and find... Um... Another... A new exit. Which... Ooh... Oh, c c stuff, stuff. That's crumbling, it's crumbling, crumbling. Run, run for it. Did not expect this. <laughs> it's unstable in many ways, this game. Oh, good. Right, onwards, 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 onwards. Okay, down here. Oh, God, look, I'm getting I'm getting a lot of good... Tr 639 quid, holy shit, I'm actually doing very well on the, um, the coinage at the moment. It's not finding an exit. Let's try and move to the left, because there was an exit to the left previously. Go, 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 go. Get that. How many? How much time have I got left? I, I think it's 60 seconds. <laughs> Where the hell am I now? What was that to the right? Oh, who cares? <laughs> oh. So who else can we get? We got a lot... Oh, 700 quid. Holy shit. Okay. Helmet. Hard shell. Ooh. Displays the entire map. So there's a lot of defense stuff here. Oh, hidden pathway finder. Let's try the. Let's try that. Hull. Um, big old decrease the damage dealt. Um, got extra 250. Oh, here we go. Oh, though that costs 500 quid. I think we've been buying expensive stuff. Shielder. Um, oh, we can't. We can barely afford anything now. God damn it. Oh, hello. Here we go. An extra cooling tank. Perfect. Oh, it's not letting me buy this. Uh, maybe the, maybe it's wrong. Maybe that's supposed to be 250 quid. God damn it. And we equip... I'm not quite sure what we actually got here. Helmet. Automaptor. Um, that's not good. <laughs> we may need to... Um, we may need to take something off. Uh, hang on. Equipment. Blast... Oh... Is, is that enough? I think we need a high, we need more tanks. Yeah, otherwise that happens. So this is amazing, and I, I never got around to playing this before in my earlier videos, and I'm kicking myself now, given the quality of Sinclair Stranger's previous entries. Well done. Well deserved. Right, that's it. There'll be another video checking out the other five winners, and remember that Ludum Dare 50 is just around the corner in April 2022, and that's sure to be a biggie, but in the meantime we'll continue to cover the best indie games here on Randomised User, so subscribe to the channel and do unseemly things to that bell.